I'm Dr. Randhir Kumar, consultant neurosurgeon at Continental Hospital. Today, uh, we are going to discuss regarding the common topic in neurosurgery that is the brain tumors. The tumor is abnormal growth of cells of the brain. It may be cancerous or non-cancerous. That's we call as a benign tumor or malignant tumors. This tumor may be primary. Primary tumor means those specifically occurring inside the brain cells and other is the secondary. Secondary tumors are uh, some tumor inside the other part of the body like from lungs, from the breast, from stomach, liver or other organs of our body. From there they transport it to the brain that is called secondary or metastatic brain tumors. So further we subclassify this brain tumor into different type of their cell origin like most common is uh, arising from our glial cells that's called, called glioma glioma subclassified into grade 1 or grade 2 or grade 3 tumors or maybe the subgroups regarding the astrocytoma ependymoma oligodendroglioma or the glioblastomas the second subgroup is most common benign tumor that is meningioma the meningioma basically arises from the protective covering layer of our brain, meninges and parachnoids. These are most, most commonly found uh, tumor which have the much much better uh, curative treatment wise as we will discuss later. Second subgroups is pituitary tumor where this tumor arises from small hormone producing glands that is called pituitary gland situated in the skull base. Third subgroup is tumor arising from nerve sheath that are called the uh, caustic neuromas or other nerve sheath tumors. So these are many others which are divided according to the, their origin of the cell, the site and the different characteristic. So what are the causative factors for this uh, brain tumors? As per se there is no definitive cause of this tumor occurrence or tumor formations but yes some familiar history, some genetic mutations, radiation exposure can lead to the brain tumor formations. There is no definitive role of any age or any dietary habit to the tumor formations. So what are the symptoms of the brain tumor? Symptom, most common symptoms is prolonged or long duration headache associated with nauseating tendency or vomiting. Second most common symptoms is fits, either we call as seizures or epilepsy. In other, there are symptoms according to the location of the tumor like if tumor is in the pituitary glands then which is very close to the your uh, eye nerves so there will be decrease in the vision either from one eye or two eye and in extreme cases there will be complete blindness third in the acoustic neuroma which arises from your nerves of ear where will where there is a deafness it starts slowly in one ear and partial initial level and there is a complete loss of hearing other symptoms according to the tumor in the area like in the frontal area of the brain there will be personality changes, uh, behavior changes, bowel and bladder involvements or maybe other uh, symptoms according to the pressure effect in the brain. There may be weakness in the hand and leg, their speech may be affected or there may be unsteady gait during walking. If we have this type of symptoms what have we have to uh, advise your clinician, your family physician, neurologist or neurosurgeons. On basis of the symptoms he will investigate the what are the common investigations uh, for the t investigating the brain tumor we advise for the CT or MRI which is with or contrast. Contrast is a uh, injection we give it to enlighten the tumor which inside your in the CT uh, if you are getting for planning then we have to prescribe some we have to advise some other modality of the MRI specific which we called as a MR spectro or functional MRI for localizations of tumor where near to the hand and leg area or speech areas. Other investigatory if a uh, uh, clinician suspect that this is the metastatic tumor then the whole body PET, is, PET scan may required or may be associated any other blood investigations which is prescribed by your clinicians. So now next is there what is treatment of this brain tumor. The gold standard treatment of brain tumor is always a surgical remover or complete excision of the tumor. In some small benign cases, small tumor with 
and watch policy is applied. But gold standard is always a complete total excision of the tumor. So nowadays when we plan for the tumor surgery is there on our operation theater, there are a lot of modalities available to for safe and secure surgery like uh, navigations, we use navigations monitoring on the operation table to localize the tumor with to minimize our craniotomy and the excision as maximum possible on the operation table by the use of our microscope, uh, the uh, fluorescence and many times where we have uh, intraoperative MRI where just immediately after surgery we go for the MRI and see that how much residual is left or not. So as the advances in neurosurgery, there are many modalities in operation table all or after surgery for the surgery to make it as safe as possible. So what, what after this uh, you will get the surgical excision, either it's become total excision of tumor, either partial excision of the tumor or sub total excision of tumor. It all depends uh, what is the tumor, where is it located, how is deeply infiltrated to the brain tissue is there or is it near to the some of the important area of the brain. So after removal of the tumor, we send it for the histopathological biopsy and where we find where we get the definitive histopathological diagnosis of the tumor, either it is a benign tumor or cancerous tumor. Cancerous tumor may be of grading of the tumor, may be grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 or grade 2. So further uh, treatment based on our histopathological biopsy, if the tumor is completely excised and it is a benign tumor, then be called as a cure this tumor is cured and this patient or patient is cured. If it is a cancerous tumor according to the stage we plan it out grade 1 stage which there is a uh, near total excision we wait and watch. But grade 2 onwards grade 3 or when the tumor excision is not complete then we will take the opinion of our radio oncologist where either radiotherapy or chemotherapy according to the tumor uh, aggression according to how much tumor is removed we plan for the uh, radio or chemotherapy. Apart from radio and chemotherapy, the most important part of the treatment is support. The psychological support, the social support, moral support and family support, it is all together with the medical treatment is our aim is back to life for the patients who is operated for the brain tumor. Thank you very much.